Friends, welcome to Conklin for Monday the 15th of February. Um, I've had one of those days today, really. I don't know about you, we all have them, I'm sure, now and then. One of those days when it's all a bit of a struggle. And particularly today, for me, my dad um, has been heavy on my heart. I don't know why today. But why not today? I think anyone that's lost anyone in this last, um, well, anyone who's lost anyone ever will know the feeling. And uh, I've been reading a, a pastoral prayer by Tess Ward from this lovely book, Alternative Pastoral Prayers. Uh, and I thought I'd share that with you. Long the journey we must now make, for one of our kind has left us, and we cannot be the same. Slow the feet, tread, moment by moment, a wonder that morning and evening keep coming round. But weaving the old story into the new cannot be hurried, for there are no landmarks and no maps. We must weep over their bones until we carry them within us. And when the winter of our grief is past and the rains are over and gone, we will arise and come away. Put our hand into the hand of life. See the world afresh with newborn eyes as the flowers appear on the earth again and the time of singing is come. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so Let's pray together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And we ask that loving God that he save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Amen. Uh, last time I was here, I threatened to start reading another book of the Bible uh, after we'd uh, finished John together, and I thought we'd read some Old Testament. And it occurred to me that I know eight verses of Ecclesiastes, and only eight. Uh, so I thought we'd read the rest of the book. So over the next little while, we're going to read Ecclesiastes uh, uh, and uh, we're going to say Psalm 46 as well. So that's what we're up against tonight. Psalm 46 and Ecclesiastes, we will start off. So grab a book and off we go. So Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes the wars cease 
to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. So here we go on a voyage for, of uh, exploration, for me at least, I'm sure you know it, but uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. The reflections of a royal philosopher, as the first verse says, these are the words of a teacher in Jerusalem in the time of King David. The words of the teacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Vanity of vanities, says the teacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What do people gain from all the toil at which they toil under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun goes down and hurries to the place where it rises. The wind blows to the south and goes round to the north. Round and round goes the wind and on its circuits the wind returns. All streams run to the sea, but the sea is not full. To the place where the streams flow, where they continue to flow. All things are wearisome, more than one can express. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, or the ear filled with hearing. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done. There's nothing new under the sun. Is there a thing of which it is said, see, this is new? It has already been in the ages before us. The people of long ago are not remembered, nor will there be any, nor will there be any remembrance of people yet to come by those who come after them. I, the teacher, when king over Israel in Jerusalem, applied my mind to seek and to search out by wisdom all that is done under heaven. It is an unhappy business that God has given to human beings to be busy with. I saw all the deeds that are done under the sun, and see, all is vanity and a chasing after wind. What is crooked cannot be made straight, and what is lacking cannot be counted. I said to myself, I have acquired great wisdom, surpassing all who were over Jerusalem before me, and my mind has great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I applied my mind to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is but a chasing after the wind, for in much wisdom is much vexation, and those who increase knowledge increase sorrow. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And so friends, let's pray together tonight. Under the wings of the Spirit, the spirit of the shining dark, let there be rest. The flame dies down, the new year's moon is born, let there be rest. In the ending of the day, in the time of letting go, let there be rest. As evening draws on, we commend into God's hand and heart all whose day has been long and hard all who are nursing fresh scars and fragile hopes. May our prayers find their way to the circle of the Spirit and clear the path to the first glimmer of spring. Amen.
And so friends, let's offer our day today to God. Let's offer everything we've done today, everything we've tried to do and failed and everything we've tried to do and succeeded in. Let's regard that all as an expression of God's love through us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's offer to God everything we wish we could have done today and the places we wish we could have gone to. As our lockdown continues, we see and hear brief glimmers of the potential for light to come as hopefully the virus comes under more control through vaccines. Let's offer to God our hopes for the expansion again of our world, all of our individual worlds, and hope that they can broaden and deepen again sooner than later. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we offer to God today, everyone that we've lost, people that we don't see anymore, people that are in our families perhaps, and people that are friends, or people that we know only distantly. Let's offer their lives and their witness to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Keep us, Holy Spirit of air, under the shadow of your wings. Keep us, Holy Spirit of earth, in the darkening of your trees. Keep us, Holy Spirit of water, in the stillness of your depths. Keep us, Holy Spirit of fire, in the embers of your heart. May your blessing follow us into the peace of sleep and the miracle of dreaming. May your blessing quicken the life that stirs within us. Amen. And so let's share the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So friends, thank you for praying with me tonight. Uh, it's good to know you're there.
In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. In the name of Christ.